Señor, todo decreto, Señor. Hoy venimos lanzando decretos sobre decretos, Señor, en el ámbito espiritual y natural, Señor. Hoy declaramos esta tarde, Señor, tarde de victoria, tarde de liberación, tarde de sanidad, tarde, Señor, donde los fragmentados se unen, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús. En el nombre de Jesús, la unción del Padre, la unción del Hijo y la unción del Espíritu Santo están en este lugar. Recibe ahí donde estás ahora. Recibe ahora la unción del poder de Dios que te arropa en este momento. Declaramos, Señor, que todo altar que viene en contra de este servicio cae por tierra. Cae por tierra en el nombre de Jesús. Declaramos que las cadenas se rompen ahora. Las cadenas se desligan ahora de los cuerpos de tu pueblo, Señor. Que toda carga que el enemigo ha puesto cae por tierra, cae por tierra, cae por tierra ahora. En el nombre de Jesús declaramos los, los ángeles que acampan alrededor de tus hijos en este lugar, Señor. Los ángeles de victoria y los ángeles con la espada desenvainada arropan este lugar. Los vientos de tu espíritu que no se sabe de dónde vienen ni a dónde va. Vienen a este lugar ahora, Señor. Los vientos de tu espíritu vienen a sacudir a Sidón. Los vientos de tu espíritu vienen a transformar a tu pueblo. Los vientos del Espíritu Santo vienen a setear a los cautivos libres en el nombre de Jesús. Declara Isaías 61.1 en el nombre de Jesús. Por cuanto el Espíritu de Jehová está sobre mí, me ha ungido para dar buenas nuevas. Me ha ungido para dar buenas nuevas, para libertar a cautivo. Aquel que está cautivo obligatoriamente es libre por la palabra, es libre por la simiente incorruptible, es libre porque el Espíritu de Dios liberta a aquel que se encuentra en cautividad. En el nombre de Jesús. En el nombre de Jesús. Somebody say praise Jesus. Somebody say praise Jesus. Say God, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Dios, tú eres bueno, eres bueno, eres bueno. Say Father, thank you for this afternoon. Padre, gracias por esta tarde. I want to quickly jump into what the Lord has given me. Quiero darte rápidamente lo que el Señor me dio. A lot, I want to just kind of teach. I'm not going to really preach today. No voy a predicar tanto, pero enseñarles. A lot of times we ask God for a prayer. Muchas veces le pedimos a Dios por oración. And God doesn't give us the prayer. Y él no nos contesta esa petición de oración. He gives us the wrong material. Él nos da el material erróneo. When you hear in the word of God that manna came down from heaven. Cuando oye la palabra de Dios que el maná cayó del cielo. Who can tell me what manna is? ¿Quién puede decirme qué es el maná? Really quick, okay. we we will teach it. Rápidamente. So manna decir? is bread. Who es pan. Talking? When, so, they, so bread came down from heaven and they ate it. Entonces el pan descendió del cielo y se lo comieron. Amen. Puedo recibir un amén? Raise your hand. Levante sus manos. No. No, no, no. What is it, Alvin? What is it, Alvin? What is it, Alvin? Hold on. When heaven, when manna rained down from heaven, cuando el maná cayó del cielo, it was grain that rained down. Fue el grano que cayó del cielo. It was their responsibility to turn it into bread. Fue su responsabilidad convertirlo en pan. A lot of pastors and, and ministers want millionaires in the church. Muchos pastores y ministros quieren eh, millonarios en la iglesia. But God doesn't bring the millionaire. Pero Dios no trae los millonarios. Well, God brings the person that has the anointing of the millionaire. Dios trae la persona con unción del millonario. But that millionaire comes in poverty. Pero ese millonario viene en pobreza. That millionaire comes demon possessed. Ese millonario viene poseído por demonios. That millionaire comes poor. Ese millonario viene pobre. It's is the responsibility of the church and the man of God to process that person. Es la responsabilidad del hombre de Dios y de la iglesia de procesar a ese hombre. Raw material. Hay que tener el material erróneo. That means before you can get cheese, you need milk. God doesn't give you the yogurt. He gives you the milk first. That's why he says, I'm taking you to a land of milk and honey. Por eso es que Dios dice, te voy a llevar a la tierra prometida de donde fluye leche y miel, porque para darte queso tengo que darte leche. What you do with the honey and the milk, and what you convert it to, that makes it its final product. Dependiendo de lo que tú hagas con la miel y la leche, lo que te conduce al producto final. Churches are so used to people coming already delivered, already prepared. But when it comes for a deliverance ministry, God gives you the raw 
material. Cuando se quiere a un ministerio de liberación, el Señor te da el material erróneo, pero muchos ministros quieren ya el obsequio preparado. And at times you pray for things that you already have in you, but it takes for the man of God to process that and be patient with what God has already deposited in you. Muchas veces está orando, pero ya tú portas por dentro lo que debes de, de, de tener y el hombre de Dios ora por ti y lo extrae hacia afuera. Somebody say it's the final product. Somebody say I would love to be processed. I enjoy being processed. Now, I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. Because in order to be processed, the place where God places you in is what determines the process. That means every process is according to a particular location. Cada proceso está de acuerdo a lo, a lo local donde tú te encuentras. That means different cultures and different countries have different ways of making rice. Diferentes culturas y naciones tienen diferentes formas de construir arroz. Some countries add peanut butter to their rice. Alguien tiene peanut butter con el arroz. And it's not the same way the Chinese make the rice. Y no es de la misma forma que los chinos también hacen su arroz. In, in Puerto Rico we call it arroz con dulce. Our rice is like brown. El arroz Puerto Rico es arroz con guandule y es como marrón diferente. In my wife's country, she has another kind of rice. What is it called? Gallo yeah. pinto. En el país de mi esposa le llaman gallo pinto, otro tipo de arroz. There's some people that make their rice with coconut. Hay personas que lo hacen con coco el arroz. So every, say every location, diga cada local, has a different culture and a different process. Tiene diferentes procesos y culturas. That means some people si come to this ministry. With spirits and with mindsets. Ciertas personas vienen a este ministerio con tipo de mentes. That the, it must be handled differently. Que debe de ser conducido diferentemente. For example, if you become demon possessed in another place, si te eres poseído demoníacamente en otro lugar, they will arrest you in that place. Te van a arrestar en ese lugar. If you allow a demon to manifest in a different place. Si permite que el demonio se manifieste en otro lugar. You will get Baker Act for 72 hours because that's the way they process demons. Se hospitalizarán por 72 horas porque así es que ellos conducen a los demonios. They will call you a lunatic and they will call you crazy and they will probably kick you out the church and they will put a no trespass sign that you're no longer allowed in that place because the process is different. Seguro te llamarán loco o lunático y pondrán un letrero donde dice no permita a tal persona que entre y te sacan de ese lugar. So the process affirms the place. El proceso afirma el lugar. I'm getting somewhere. Estoy Every bien. place has different rules and regulations and different cultures and different temperaments. Todo lugar tiene diferente cultura, temperamento, lenguaje. So watch this. Say Say this. Repeat after me. Say everything. Respira, everything. Respira, respira, todo. everything. Todo. Is connected to a place. Está conectado a un lugar. Everything is connected to a place. Todo está conectado a un lugar. Watch this. That means, why do you think they called him and they shouted Jesus of Nazareth? Why? Why do you think the Pharisee says there comes Jesus the Nazarene? Who can tell? Quién me puede decir? Why? 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 De dónde era Samson? He was a what? Nazarene. Era Nazareno. The people of the Nazarene had a reputation. Los Nazarenos tenían una reputación. If you were from Nazareth, you never finished what you started. Si eres de Nazareth, nunca termina lo que empiezas. You never finished your business. You never finished your school. You were a quitter. When they said Jesus of Nazareth, they said you are the quitter. You are just like the people that came before you. Cuando dijeron Jesús de Nazareno, tú eres alguien que empieza las cosas y no termina. Todo el Nazareno empezaba y no lo terminaba. Hay una reputación que follows the place that you're from. Hay una reputación que sigue el lugar de donde tú vienes. So they labeled him Jesus of Nazareth because they were saying you're not going to finish with the prophecy and the promise that's over your life. Entonces lo etiquetaron diciendo tú eres Jesús de Nazareno, aquel que empieza algo y no lo termina. So Jesus now had to be mobile. And he couldn't remain no longer in the place called Nazareth. Jesús tuvo que ser movible y no permanecer en el mismo lugar de Nazaret. That means what? He had to kind of maneuver because Jesus had to be a finished product. Tuvo que moverse porque tuvo que ser un producto terminado. Because Nazareth had a principality attached to 
that location that no one can ever finish. Their marriages will come out in divorce. Their children will be divorced. Anything they lay their hands to will never succeed. Porque todo aquel que estaba en Nazaret tenía un principado donde aquel que era casado terminaba en divorcio. Los hijos terminaban en divorcio. That means every region has a place tied to it. Toda región tiene un lugar atado a ello o espiritualmente atado a ello. My parents are from Puerto Rico. Mis padres son de Puerto Rico. They call us hothead. Nos llaman cabeza caliente. They say they got a temper. Que somos temperamentales. They'll come out with the shank. Que viene con la forma. They'll come out with the machete. Que viene con el machete. These Puerto Rican are beasts, uncivilized beings. Estos Puerto Rico ellos son sin civilización. Their men are lustful. Son de lujuria. There is a connection tied to a region. Hay una conexión atada a la región. But in the name of Jesus, say I will finish what I started. En el nombre de Jesús diga yo voy a terminar lo que he empezado. That means people, people, people are influenced by a particular place. Las personas son influenciadas por un lugar en particular. So when you hear of countries and the way they do things, there are principality and spirits that dominate countries. That's why the word of God says, tie the strong man first before you can enter because that region has a strong man attached to it. That family has a strong man attached to it. Por eso dice la palabra que ata la tierra como en los cielos. Todo el hombre fuerte antes de entrar a la casa, el matrimonio, la región. You know why some people don't get married? ¿Sabes por qué ciertas personas no se casan? Because there's a spirit of divorce that follows marriages. Porque hay un espíritu de divorcio que persigue los matrimonios. And if you're not able to confront that spirit of divorce, God says rather not get married because there's a principality. Do you know not more than 50% of people in the churches Pastors and apostles get divorced. Sabes que más del 50 por ciento de los apóstoles y las iglesias se están divorciando. Prophets get divorced. Los profetas divorciando. That means God says, I'd rather you not get married than end up a casualty because you're not ready to dominate the spirit that comes over this particular scenario. Yo dice prefiero que te quedes así solo o sola antes de que te cases y te persigue ese espíritu de divorcio. All the man that you're supposed to marry has not still been able to confront the spirit of divorce that follows him. O el hombre que te quieres casar aún no ha confrontado el espíritu de divorcio que lo está persiguiendo ahí. So in a place unless you understand the spirit of that location of that culture of that atmosphere, you won't be able to dominate it. No podrá dominar un lugar o región si no conoces quién está gobernando en esa sección. That's why when people go to a particular place, they have to know what spirit dominates that place. Por eso cuando las personas van a ciertos lugares tienen que saber qué espíritu está dominante en esa área. When I went to Haiti, cuando fui a Haití, they said don't go there. Dijeron no vayas allá. I had to go on a fasting and prayer. Tuvo que ir a ayuno y oración. Because I had to have an anointing to dominate the spirit in that region so I won't get infected. Porque tuve que tener una porción de la unción para poder ir a esa región y no ser infectado. Déjame enseñarle algo sobre los lugares. Enseñarle algo sobre los lugares. When Moses was in Egypt, Cuando Moisés estaba en Egipto, he was the son of Pharaoh. él era el hijo de Faraón. When Moses left Egypt, Cuando se fue de Egipto, Moisés, and he went to the desert, y se fue al desierto, the place made him a shepherd. ahora el lugar lo volvió un pastor. But when Moses got processed in the desert, Pero cuando fue procesado en el desierto, he was able to go back and confront the demon that he could never confront. Pudo volver atrás y confrontar el demonio que nunca Because se the podía desert confrontar. is the university of the Christian. Porque el desierto es la universidad del cristiano. Tell your neighbor, don't be afraid of process. Dígale a su vecino, no temas sobre el proceso. Don't be afraid of being processed. No tenga miedo de ser procesado. Of being unfamiliar, of being uncomfortable. De ser incomodado o sin familiaridad. The word of God says that Jesus did very few miracles in Nazareth. La palabra dice que Jesús hizo poco milagro en Nazaret. It says in the word of God Jesus returned back to Nazareth. Él se volvió a Nazaret, Jesús. He went back to his hometown. Volvió a su nación. But the people knew him too much. Pero la persona era muy familiar con él. The people were too familiar with Moses. Son familiares con Moisés. And with Jesus. Con Jesús. They said, isn't this Joseph's boy? Este es el hijo de José. So it, it said the spirit held Jesus back. From doing signs, wonders, and miracles. Entonces el Espíritu aguantó a Jesús de hacer señales y maravillas y prodigios. That means, listen, listen, there are places that will hold back your breakthrough. Hay lugares que van a aguantar tu rompimiento. There are places that will hold back the gifting God has 
given you. Hay lugares que van a aguantar los dones y talentos que Dios te ha dado. That's why certain pastors and certain ministers they have to leave their region and go open up churches in another state, in another location, because too much people know too much about them in that region. Por eso hay pastores y ministros que hacen y forman iglesias fuera de su nación o país o estado porque fueron muy familiarizados en ese lugar. There's too much information about them and they cannot grow. Hay mucha información sobre él y no pueden crecer. That's why Jesus said a prophet in his own house is not honored. Por eso la palabra de Jesús dice que el profeta no es querido en su propia tierra. So what God will do is open a door. He will open a portal. He will open a gate to release favor upon what he deposited on you. Entonces Dios abre puertas y portales para derramar el, el, el poder y el don que tiene sobre ti. So you're here in this region. Estás aquí en esta región. And all of a sudden you transition to another region. Y de repente te transiciona a otra región. And the anointing is waiting for you. Y la unción te está esperando allá. The anointing wants to possess you there. La unción te quiere poseer en ese lugar. Now you can operate in your gift. Ahora puedes operar en tus dones. Because there are certain places that don't allow you to speak in tongues. They don't allow you to do deliverance. They don't allow you to prophesy. They don't allow you to heal. Porque hay ciertos lugares que no permiten que tú sales, profetices y libertes. There are certain places where you can't even speak in tongues. Hay ciertos lugares en los cuales tú no puedes hablar ni en lenguas. There are certain places where you can't allow the Holy Spirit to move. Y ciertos lugares no permiten que el Espíritu Santo se mueva. There are certain places where you can't even do deliverances. Ciertos lugares donde no puedes hacer liberaciones. So a place can change your anointing. En un lugar puede cambiar tu unción. Un sitio puede encadenar tu unción. Amén. A place can change, change your anointing. Change your anointing. Yeah, bind your anointing. That's why Jesus did few miracles in Nazareth. Por eso Jesús hizo par de milagros, poco milagros. Because he had no honor there. Porque no tenía honra ahí. But as soon as Jesus switched to Galilee, come on. Pero después que Jesús se fue a Galilea. God wants to switch you to Galilee. Come on. As soon as he transitioned to Galilee, there was breakthrough upon his life. Because a specific place called upon his mantle. Why do you think a lot of these deliverance ministers they travel from place to place? Look at them. All the deliverance ministers, it's very few times they deliver. Mira lo que pocas veces que hace liberación de su propio sitio. Look at every deliverance minister. They leave the place from where they're from because the place they're going doesn't know them or doesn't really dissect their reputation and they honor the man anointing. Dice que cierto hombre y ministro de Dios no hacen tanta liberación en sus lugares, pero cuando se mueven empiezan a moverse en esa liberación. Porque cuando hay un lugar de rechazo hay otra atmósfera que quiere recibirte. There are even people that are physically buried, physically and spiritual. Hay gente que están eh, sin parir, sin ser. And it's not that the woman is buried, it's the location is causing warfare upon her. So a wrong place can stop manifestations of God in your life. That means a wrong church can stop the move of God in your life, can stop your destiny, can stop your purpose. That means there are some places that you're not qualified to be. Hay ciertos sitios que usted no está calificado de estar ahí. But God places you in the right place at the right time. Pero Dios te posiciona en el lugar correcto y el momento. Where correcto. now you can break through and break free. Ahora puedes romper y romper libre. Okay, what well, pastor? I don't know about this place. Though. Pastor, yo no entiendo sobre esto. Because when you carry the atmosphere of Jesus, things move. Porque cuando cargas la unción de Jesús, todo se mueve. There are some places that Apostle Paul was restricted to go by from the Holy Spirit. Hay ciertos lugares que el apóstol Pablo estuvo restringido por el Espíritu Santo que no entraron. It's in the book of Acts. Está en el libro de Hechos. He said he was restricted to go there. Él fue restringido de parte del Espíritu. An apostle restricted to go to a region. Un apóstol restringido de ir a una región. That means there are there are. Have you ever heard this place? Don't go there because it's a haunted house. No hay lugar que dice no vaya a esa casa que es una casa embrujada. Everyone who goes to the house comes out dead. Todo el que está va a esa casa Everybody who goes to that region comes out divorced. You know, there's deliverance 
churches that don't even want to come to Miami. Hay ministro de liberación que no quieren ni venir a Miami. They say, no, 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 God has not assigned me to Miami. No, no, Dios no me ha asignado a Miami. Because the atmosphere from Miami is strong. Porque la atmósfera de Miami es fuerte. I got it. You need. Okay, like you do what you get. Okay. So there are certain places that will hinder what God has for you. Hay ciertos lugares que van a perjudicar lo que Dios tiene para ti. Now in Brazil, they started a parade where they were worshiping demons. Oh, ahora en Brasil empezaron una parada donde están adorando los demonios. And the next day there was a flood. Y lo siguiente había un río que se desbordó. Because certain places, certain houses, certain families carry an atmosphere over them. Porque ciertas familias, ciertos lugares, ciertos sitios portan algo sobre ellos. So before you give me information. Antes de darme información. And I hear the information you give. Y oye la información que tú me estás dando. Déjame ver yo tu atmósfera. Do you drink? Do you smoke? Let me see your face. Let me see how you dress. Let me know what you're wearing. Before you give me this information, I gotta see if you. I gotta see your lifestyle because if your life, you don't qualify to tell me nothing. Tengo que ver tu atmósfera de vida. ¿Cómo te viste? Si fumas, si bebes, ¿dónde te metes? And there are people that we hang out with that if you look at their lifestyle. They don't qualify to even speak into your ear. They don't worship God. They club. They drink. And then they want to talk to you about something. Hay gente que no califica para hablar a tus oídos. Gente que bebe, que fuma y quiere venir a aconsejarte. No. Before you give me this information, do you pray? Antes de tú darme esa información, tú oras. Before you release this to me, let me see how you navigate your life. Let me see your Instagram. Let me see how you dress. Antes de tú desatar eso, mi vida, déjame ver cómo tú vives, cómo te viste, qué haces. You take the information from people that wear t-shirts and people that are half naked, and then you, you let them counsel you and you let them advise you. Tú permites que te den aviso, que te consejen, personas que se ponen tan aguas. They clubbing and, and drinking and smoking and 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 dancing, but and, and they're, they're twerking, and they're the ones that you hang with. Aquellos con los que tú hangas son gente que bebe, que fuma y meneando la chapa. Look at my atmosphere. That means before I go against you, I gotta look at your atmosphere. Your That's family. right. And That's I gotta, right. I, before I compare people, I gotta compare your atmosphere. Antes de comparar las personas, comparo las atmósferas. Now I know what you said, but let me check out this atmosphere compared to this atmosphere. Yo sé lo que tú dijiste, pero déjame ver esta atmósfera y compararla con aquella atmósfera. Because even though the information may be right, it may be a way of this. Deceiving and kind of there's a twist to this story. Porque puede ser que la información esté correcta, pero puede haber un giro en esta historia. Because Jezebel comes with the truth, but she twists it. Porque Jezabel viene con la verdad, pero la vira. She she says, I'm gonna say, I got the information and the proof, but let me turn, let me turn it a little bit to the liking, to the to the appeasing of the soul. Sí, yo tengo la verdad, dice Jezabel, pero la voy a virar a lo que le complace al alma. So Elijah had to be fed with steak. Entonces Elías fue nutrido con con carne. God said, Elijah, this this season is no more milk, it's steak. Elías, esto no es más de carne, no es no más de leche, pero de carne. And Paul said, you need meat, not milk. Y Pablo dijo, necesita carne, no leche. He says, Elijah, Elías, you're running from Jezebel. Estás corriendo de Jezabel. You're being weak. Te siento débil. Elijah, you need meat. Elías necesita carne. He said, meet me by the brook. Encuéntrame allá a la vera del río. And I will have ravens giving you meat. Y voy a tener a las aves. Because you're becoming too feminine, Elijah. I got to retrain you with the meat of God. Elías te está volviendo muy femenino. Te tengo que reentrenar otra vez a la carne de Dios. That means there are places that just give you milk, but there's places that give you meat. Hay lugares que te dan simplemente carne y otros te dan simplemente carne. And sometimes God will say, no more of this. You have to go to a specific place that they're going to give you meat, not what you want to be emotionally fed. Hay lugares donde Dios te va a llevar y dice, no solo donde te va a nutrir es en el alma, sino espiritualmente. That means your break, his breakthrough was by the brook. El rompimiento estaba a la vela del río. He had to get out of his place of familiarity. Tuvo que salir de lugar en entorno de familiaridad. So if I would tell you neighbor, my breakthrough is connected to a place. Diga, mi lugar, mi rompimiento está conectado a un lugar. My breakthrough and my miracle is connected to a place. Mi milagro y mi rompimiento está conectado a un lugar. My promise is connected to a place. Mi promesa está conectada a un lugar. My prophecy is connected to a place. Mi profecía está localizada en un lugar. That means the principality that rules over China is not the same principality that rules over America. El principado que gobierna en China no es el mismo que gobierna en América. That's why some chains are not removed by fasting and prayer. Por eso hay cadenas que no se rompen a través del ayuno y la oración. I don't care what anointing I have. I don't care if I come in tongues and 
prophecies, some demons and evil spirits are not just released and rebuked and delivered by prayer, fasting, and reading the Bible. Some demons are delivered by you switching. Demonios que son liberados a tu corriente de lugar o de sitio. That means that Jesus had to leave his comfort zone, which was Nazareth. Jesus had to leave his comfort zone, his comfortable place, his familiar place, his known place, to a place of Galilee, of unknown, unfamiliar place. Jesús tuvo que moverse de Nazaret, lugar familiar, lugar conocido, a un lugar de Galilea donde no conocía y era extraño. Ahí. And sometimes God will put us in a place where we feel uncomfortable. Y Dios nos va a poner en lugares donde nos sentimos incómodos. Where the church is not too big. A la iglesia no es muy grande. Where the service is too long. O el servicio es muy largo. And the music is too loud. Y la música muy alta. And it's too much tongues. Y hay mucha lengua. And it's kind of ah. Uh. Y mucho ah. Uh. But that place has a tight. That that place is tied to your destiny. Pero ese lugar está atado a tu destino. You ever heard the saying, "Bad money chases good money out"? No ve que dice el dinero malo persigue el dinero bueno. You ever heard the apple one? The, the phrase one rotten apple destroys all the good apples. O la frase de una manzana podrida daña todas las manzanas. It's not that the money is not stronger than the wheat and the bad. It's not that the good money is not stronger than the bad money. No es que el dinero bueno sea más fuerte que el dinero malo. It's that the bad money is overwhelming. The poison people are overwhelming. The curses become overwhelming. Es que las maldiciones y los dichos malvados vienen a ser una sobrecarga. So Jesus had to leave Nazareth because the familiarity and the dishonor was overwhelming. Jesús tuvo que irse de Nazaret porque no lo honraban, era deshonrado hacia su persona. So watch this. Sometimes, muchas veces, you're possessed. Tú estás poseído por un lugar en particular, persona en particular o algo en particular. Done, no y no importa cuánto te liberten, si no hay una transición, no verás una liberación genuina. ¿Has visto un niño? Ocho, nueve, diez años. Yo, what's up, dog? What's good? What's up, baby? What's good? What's good, fam? You say this child is this child is from the ghetto so now you identify and name the child by the place he's from that means watch this when God said I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob he was not just naming people and bloodlines he was naming their tracing their places cuando Dios dijo, yo soy el padre de Abraham, Isaac y Jacob, y no solo decía los nombres de esa persona, sino los lugares y sitios de donde eran ellos. He was tracing their family identity, their origin. Estaba yendo al origen de esas familias. That means there are certain places. Hay ciertos lugares. Islands. Y islas. I'm from Puerto Rico. Soy de Puerto Rico. I'm in Puerto Rico. I'm in Puerto Rico. There's witchcraft in our islands. Hay brujería en la isla. There's Catholicism in our islands. Hay catolicismo en la isla. Haiti. En Haití. There's witchcraft. Hay brujería. There's a high level of witchcraft. Hay un alto nivel de brujería. Cuba is a high level of witchcraft. Cuba un alto nivel de brujería. So what? Some people born into certain regions, pay attention. Cierta gente nacida en ciertos lugares. There are demons waiting for them because of the place they were born in. Hay demonios esperándolos por el lugar donde ellos fueron nacidos. Demons are waiting for you in places that you're born in, and as soon as you come out of your mother's womb, there's a demonic influence over the baby. Hay demonios que están infiltrados en el lugar donde tú naces y luego quieren entrar hacia ese bebé. Dominican Republic, there's a high influence of witchcraft. En República Dominicana hay un alto nivel de brujería. That means before your mother, before your mother birthed you, there are particular demons infested and occupied in that location that you were born in. Hay un lugar infestado lleno de demonios esperando a tu nacimiento. And demons wait for your birth because they want to, uh, they want to do something. Y ellos esperan a que tú nazcas porque ellos quieren hacer algo. They want to do something to your bloodline. Quieren hacer algo en tu ADN. Okay, so, Pastor, where, where is this biblical? Pastor, ¿dónde esto bíblicamente? That much is. Uh, while I'm preaching, give me Mark chapter 9, verse 21. Mark chapter 9, verse 21. Marco, Marcos 9, eh, capítulo 21. So now you have Christians born in good families. Ahora tienen cristianos nacidos en buenas familias. But if the devil wants to entice them, pero si el enemigo quiere atormentarlo a ellos, he has to change 
them their location in order to possess them. Tiene que cambiar de localidad para poder poseerlo. That's why if a child is born in a rich environment, a rich atmosphere, por eso ese niño fue nacido en un ambiente de rico millonario. All of a sudden you see him in the ghetto selling drugs because the demon had to switch locations before the possession came upon him. Después lo ve vendiendo droga en el barrio porque el demonio tuvo que cambiar la localidad de donde estaba. So demons will put you in a territory in order to embody you. Los demonios te ponen en cierto sitio para poder darle cuerpo a ellos. In order to infest you. Para poder infestarte. That means if you move from place to place and you don't discern the place. Si te mueves de lugar en lugar y no discierne el sitio. There could be demons that are awaiting you. Pueden haber demonios esperándote. I'll give you an example. Te voy a dar un ejemplo. Let's all read. One, Vamos two, a leer. three. Next verse. No, no. Bear, okay, now this is why you pay attention. Presta atención aquí, por favor. This child came to Jesus. Este niño vino a Jesús. And the father said, Jesus. Y el padre dijo, Jesús. You see, you see fire and water. Tú ves fuego y agua. But if you see in Rama, pero si ven en Rama, he was thrown into the water kingdom and the fire kingdom. Fue echado al reino de fuego y al reino de aguas. That means this boy was transitioning into kingdoms. The demons were leading his place. Este niño fue transicionado en reinos, en reino de agua y fuego, y los demonios lo constituían. So there is such thing called demonic journeys. Y hay eh, libros demoníacos. That means if you move in a place of emotion or offense, that can be a demonic journey. Si te, puede, si te mueven ofensa o algo así demoníaco. If the spirit place. didn't move you, but there was something that you felt hurt, and you, that could be because it was in the spirit. It was emotion that pulled you there. Fue algo, una emoción que te llevó a ese lugar porque fuiste lastimado. So we know that demons can take you to different kingdoms and give you different atmospheres and orchestrate different assignments. Sabemos que los demonios orquestan diferentes asignaciones a tu vida y también te mueven de lugar y de sitio. When you went to a club to go party, you thought you were going out with your homegirls, but there was a demon transferring you to that kingdom. Cuando tú ibas a la discoteca con tus amistades, pensaba que era tú y ella, pero era un demonio transicionando de ese ambiente. When you went to that school and you went to that organization there was a it said Jesus was led by the spirit to the desert Jesus fue llevado por el espíritu al desierto is the desert comfortable el desierto es cómodo no. is the desert a nice place to be in un lugar favorizable no did the devil lead him to the desert el diablo lo llevó o el holy spirit o el espíritu santo that means the devil will lead you to places that make you feel good The Holy Spirit will lead you to places that are a little bit awkward. El Espíritu Santo te lleva a lugares que son incómodos, pero el Satanás te lleva a lugares que son cómodos, que son buenos. That means this demon was taking this child, and he was driven by a demon into places. Este demonio estaba llevando ese niño a lugares y sitios. That means there are places that you went to, drug-infested places. You got cocaine by a demon-infested place, and the demon took you to get the prostitute. Demon took you to get the cocaine. Tú has entrado a lugares donde están los demonios que te influyen a consumir cocaína o a la prostituta y te llevan de un lugar a otro. Tell your neighbor, demons can take you to the wrong territory. Los demonios te pueden llevar a territorio erróneo. This boy's father in history pretty much had everything. Este hombre tenía de todo. But there was a demon taking his child to different places. Pero había un demonio llevando a su hijo a diferentes lugares. That means you could be wealthy, but a demon could take you to a place of poverty. Tú puedes ser rico, pero tu el demonio te lleva a un nivel de pobreza. And it first happens in your imagination. Y primero sucede la imaginación. You can have friends, but a demon will take you to a place of loneliness. Tú puedes tener amigos, pero el demonio te lleva a un lugar solitario. Demons take you to locations where they can communicate with you. Porque ellos te llevan a lugares donde ellos puedan comunicarse contigo. So when you look at Abraham, cuando ves a Abraham, in Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, Genesis 12, 1, Abraham had to leave his father's house. Abraham tuvo que dejar la casa de su parentela. He had to leave a location and a place. Tuvo que dejar un sitio y lugar. Because in his father's house, there was a DNA there in the blood of his father. That didn't allow Abraham to manifest in first place. Porque había un ADN en esa parentela que no dejaba que la raza se manifestara. Let's all read together. One, two, three. He said, "What? Go out." And give me, give me that the the New King James version. 
He had to leave a place where people were familiar with him. He said, get out of your country. Get out of your family. Get out of your, that means, he said, Abraham, these people are too familiar with you. This nation doesn't respect you. You have to leave so I can do something with you. Watch this next verse, next verse. Abraham, te tiene que ir porque son muy familiar contigo. Salte de ese lugar. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. Te voy a bendecir, te haré nación grande allá. ¿Cuántos saben que Abraham fue el padre de las bendiciones? But in order for Abraham to be blessed, he could not be blessed until he transitioned. Pero él no pudo ser bendecido a no ser que se transicionara. That means sometimes you cannot be blessed until you get deliverance. Hasta que no tenga liberación no puede ser eh, bendecido. That means your deliverance is not so much a situation, but it's a place in your mind. Tu liberación no es tanto una situación, sino un lugar de tu mente. You're the same, you can leave the ghetto, but you can't get the ghetto out of you. No, yo le dice, tú te puedes ir de barrio, pero el barrio sigue dentro de ti. Yeah, you can leave the ghetto, but you still get it. Sí, te vas de barrio, pero sigue siendo barrial. So watch this, different faces, different places, but you get the same result. Because sometimes the place gets so tied to you. Diferentes lugares y naciones, pero igualmente los mismos resultados. Oh, I remember New York, it was so good. Ay, me acuerdo de Nueva York, tan bueno que era. Although I'm from New York, the Bronx. It was such a good place. I'm there with the family. Everybody, oh my God. But Abraham had to leave the place where he was from. Into a place that he didn't know. A un lugar que no conocía. Sometimes you're here alone in a place in Miami. It's because God didn't want you to be with your cousin, your poopy. Your, he took you out of it. Why would you go back to a place that he delivered you from? Muchas veces estás en un lugar donde te sientes solo, pero fue Dios que te trajo ese sitio o lugar. Why would you go back to a person that you've been delivered from? ¿Para qué vas a volver a una persona a un lugar de la cual tú fuiste libertado? There, there are some people that if you don't leave, you will not stay delivered. There are some people and things that if you just I can pray for you, I can I, I can I can fast for you, but if you don't leave that place, who's ever doing the children help with the children? We have someone in the back here. So watch this. Abraham's language had to be altered. Abraham's Body language had to be changed. El lenguaje corporal de Abraham tuvo que cambiar. That means the place he was going, he couldn't speak the same language. Al lugar que se iba transicionando, no podía hablar el mismo lenguaje. The place he was going, he couldn't dress the same. Al lugar que estaba yendo, no podía vestirse igual. Because there are forms of deliverance. Porque hay formas de liberaciones. That is not about me praying. It's about stop talking to certain people, certain family members, because that person will keep you possessed. No se trata de que te haga liberación y ore por ti, sino que tú te mueves y transiciones de personas y lugares y familiares. Now they can no longer invite you to the birthdays, to the salsa. They can no longer invite you because you got delivered from an atmosphere. Ya ellos no pueden invitarte a esa atmósfera de salsa, balada, de chanta y hacer lo que ellos quieran. So he said, I need you to do, this is not a question, I need you to do something, Abraham. Esto no es una pregunta, yo necesito que tú hagas algo. Get out of your father's house. Sal de tu casa de la paredera. Don't try to preach to them. No trate de preguntar. Don't try to pray for them. No trata de orarles. Don't try to fight with them. No trata de pelearles. I need you to leave. Necesito que te vayas. Because if you fight with them or you try to counsel them or pray for them, porque si trata de orar aconsejarlos, this was not my mandate. Este no fue mi mandato. Then some of you are here delivered. Algunos de ustedes están aquí libertados. Because there was a marriage that you had to shift from. Porque hubo un matrimonio que tuvo que desatarse. There was a geographic location that was keeping you bound. Un lugar geográfico que lo lo tenía atado a usted. That means in order for you to get delivered and in order for blessings to come, you had to get delivered. Para que las bendiciones pudiesen venir, usted tuvo que ser libertado primero. And when we do deliverance on you, we're rebuking bloodlines. We're rebuking things in the DNA of your forefathers. Y cuando hacemos liberación, nos vamos hasta la cuarta generación y al ADN de usted. Things in your father's bloodline. Cosas en la en la sangre de sus padres. Once again, principalities operate in territories. Principados operan en territorios. That means in order for you to be delivered. Para que usted pueda ser libertado. You must first switch the location in your mind. Debe de cambiar el lugar o sitio. So close your eyes in the name of Jesus. Cierre sus ojos en el nombre de Jesús. Whatever place is so tight in you. Todo lugar que lo tiene. Whatever city is so tight in you. Cada ciudad que lo tiene. Whatever 
a country is so tight will let it be broken in the name of Jesus whatever bloodline is tying you be delivered now in the name of Jesus that means a certain location can make you inferior Cierto lugar te puede hacer inferior. A certain location can make you cursed. Cierto lugar te puede hacer maldito. So now you're in a different location, you talk different. Ahora estás en una región diferente y hablas diferente. You walk different. Te mueves diferente. You act different. Actúas diferente. You have a different wisdom. Tienes una sabiduría diferente. You have a different knowledge. Un conocimiento diferente. You have a different intelligence. Una inteligencia diferente. Have you ever heard people when you start getting blessed or start being a Christian? Y ve cuando eres cristiano, estás siendo bendecido. Oh, she no longer hangs with us. Ay, ya, ya no hangea con nosotros. He thinks he's too good for us. Él cree que está muy bueno para nosotros. Or, or he's doing good, but he hasn't paid my rent and I'm about to get evicted. O él está haciendo muy bien, pero no me paga mi renta y me van a sacar. So when people see you blessed, they curse you for their curse. Hay gente que cuando te ven bendecido te maldicen por sus maldiciones. And then when you pay for their rent, they don't blame you for the blessing. Y ellos cuando tú pagas por su renta ni te bendicen por esa bendición. They don't say pastor. Me dicen pastor. You're the cause. Usted es la causa. That I got my rent paid for. Que mi renta fue pagada. That I got my mortgage paid for. Que mi mortgage fue pagado. That I got my car paid for. Que mi carro fue pagado. Woman of God. Mujer de Dios. You're the reason I got delivered. Eres la razón por la cual yo fui libertado. Woman of God, you're the reason I speak in tongues. Mujer de Dios, por ti hablo en lenguas. Man of God, you're the reason why I can now know dreams. Hombre de Dios, ahora puedo soñar por ti. Because many people will blame you for their misery, but they won't blame you for the blessings that you brought. Mucha gente te culpa sobre la miseria que ellos tienen, pero no de las bendiciones que tú pusiste sobre ellos. Because there is an accusation Porque hay una acusación of even the achievements that you've done for them. Hasta de los éxitos que tú has tenido hasta sobre ellos. That means that they won't even say, oh, it's because of him I'm here. No. Y no dicen, oh, es por él que estoy aquí, no. No, when you bless a family member. Cuando bendices a un familiar. And you pay three months for their mortgage. Y le pagas tres meses adelantado. They will say, I thank him for paying my mortgage. Ellos no dicen, le agradezco a él que me pagó el mortgage. But the month you don't pay the mortgage, they say that. O el día que tú no le pagues el mortgage, dicen, ese hombre. That son, that daughter, that sister. Ese hijo, esa hija. That brother, that sister, that cousin. Ese hermano, ese hermano, ese primo, esa prima. They see me struggling. Me ve que estoy sufriendo. I see them on Facebook going out. Lo veo en Facebook que están saliendo. I saw the new car. Veo el nuevo carro. I saw they went on vacation. Veo que se fueron de vacaciones. And look at me. Y mírame a mí. That means they get frustrated when you're having fun. Ellos se frustran cuando tú estás pasándote la bien. They get frustrated when you don't join them in their misery. Ellos se frustran cuando tú no combinas con ellos la miseria. So I'm closing. Estoy cerrando. So demons feed off your carnality. Los demonios se nutren de tu carnalidad. Demons feed off your emotionalism. Ellos se nutren de tu emocionalismo. But watch this. Your carnality also feeds off the demons. Pero tu carnalidad también le da de comer a los demonios. It's a feeding exchange. Es un intercambio de comida. That means there are demons. Watch this. So let me explain something about deliverance. Déjame explicarle algo sobre la liberación. Not everyone that you rebuke demons for, the demon is still there. No a todo aquel que tú le reprendes un demonio, el demonio está ahí. Voy a repetirle. ¿Están conmigo? Puedo reprender un demonio fuera de ti. El demonio ya no está. Ha estado contigo tanto tiempo el demonio. Que ahora multiplicó su carácter. Ahora como el demonio habla, ahora tú hablas. Ahora como el demonio pensaba, tú piensas. Porque el mundo satánico es igual que el reino de Dios de multiplicación. El demonio solo quiere plantar semillas. Wants to impregnate you. Impregnate. Wants to have a kingdom in you. Quiere tener un reino en ti. Once that demon is done. Después que termine. He goes to the person close to you. Se va la persona cercana a ti. He goes to your children. A tus hijos. He goes to people close to you. Aquellos que están cerca de ti. So I will be rebuking a demon. Ahora reprendo un demonio. The demon is not there. Ya no está ahí. Only the residue of the demon is in that place. Solo el residuo de ese demonio está en ese lugar. The demon has multiplied. His personality in your personality. Ya el demonio está multiplicando su personalidad en su personalidad. So demons leave their identity in a body. Los demonios dejan su identidad en un cuerpo. That's why sometimes it's not about deliverance; it's about being in a heal. Por eso no se trata tanto de liberación sino sanidad interior. Sometimes it's about giving them a prophetic word or word of knowledge for the healing. O darle una palabra de don de ciencia de sanidad. Why do you think Jesus? 
¿Por qué cree que Jesús in certain occasions is confused? En cierta ocasión es confundido. He'll rebuke demons. Reprende demonios. But and then in the person can have the same symptoms. La persona puede tener el mismo síntoma. He didn't rebuke the demon. He said, "Lord, be healed." Él no reprendió al demonio, le dijo, hija, se sabe. Porque en lugares donde reprendía demonios, el, el espíritu malvado estaba ahí. Pero en otros lugares no era el demonio, sino personalidad de ese demonio. No necesitaba liberación, sino sanidad. Los espíritus se manifiestan con una mentalidad. Se manifiestan con una agenda with an agenda in your imagination. Se manifiesta con una agenda en su imaginación. That means demons impregnate your imagination. They need to be with you long enough so you can act like them. Ellos tienen que estar contigo mucho tiempo para que tú actúes como ellos. Ellos impregnan tu imaginación. So you have a person that's always in rage and violence. Cuando ve alguien con violencia y enojado, no longer is a spirit, is the personality of the spirit, because now the demon taught their soul how to react. No es tanto un demonio, sino que ya está ahí la esencia de ese demonio. Ahora le enseña cómo conducirse y cómo hacerlo. The Holy Spirit didn't teach them; the demon taught them. El Espíritu Santo no le enseñó eso; los demonios le enseñaron eso. Because the demons teach your carnality. Porque los demonios le enseñan tu carnalidad. But pastor, where does that mean? Pastor, ¿dónde eso es bíblicamente? That's why Romans chapter seven. Romanos capítulo 7 Paul says there's a law in me. Pablo dice hay una ley en mí. I want to do good. Quiero hacer el bien. But there's members of carnality. Pero hay miembros de carnalidad. Fighting the agenda of Christ. Peleando la agenda de Cristo. Paul says the good I want to do I can't do. El bien que quiero hacer no lo puedo hacer. He says what he says? But the bad I do I want to. He says the bad I don't want to do I want to do. Pero lo malo que no quiero hacer eso termino haciendo. And then what he says? Y qué dice? Wretched man. Come on, have you ever read Romans 7 here? Yes. 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 He said, what a wretched man yes. that I am. Yes. What Paul was saying Pablo was saying, God, deliver me from me. Señor, de mí. Paul says, this is no longer a demon. Esto no es un demonio, señor. He says, the mountain is not exterior. The mountain is in me. La montaña no es exterior, sino en mí. It's not a demonic deliverance. It's a me deliverance. That means it's a personality deliverance. No es una liberación de demonios, sino una, persona, una liberación de personalidad no, mía no, propia. No, 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 Déjame parar aquí. No, 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 Déjame parar aquí. No, 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 Porque tú estás atrás de brujos y brujas. Pablo dice, no, no, eso se trata de mí, un problema personal. Pablo dice, Jesús. Estoy malvado. Soy maldito. Libertame de mí. When it says, speak to that mountain. Cuando dice, habla a esa montaña. And tell that mountain to move. Y dile a esa montaña, quítate. We're always speaking to mountains. Siempre le hablamos a montañas. That are outside. Que están fuera de nosotros. But they're mountains inside. Pero hay montañas dentro de nosotros. That you have to be spoken. Que tienes que hablarles. And say, this mountain has to be delivered in the name. It has to move in the name of Jesus. Diga, esta montaña se tiene que mover en el nombre de Jesús. Where did he cast the mountain to? Donde echó la montaña. The sea is the word of God. Y el mar es la palabra de Dios. the mountain by the rhema word of God. Tú hundes esa montaña bajo la palabra y la revelación de Dios. the by the word of God in your life. Tú remueves esa montaña a través de la palabra de Dios en tu vida. So Paul says, when I think I'm good, I'm evil. Dice Pablo, cuando pensaba que era bueno, soy malvado. Listen, this is a serious revelation. Esto es una revelación seria. This is a serious revelation. Es seria esta revelación. That means there's confusion that you're operating is not so much a demon, it's a carnality problem. La confusión en la cual estás opera, operando no es tanto un demonio, sino la carnalidad. Because in the past, a demon duplicated. That's why what a demon does, he gets in a parent. Porque el demonio entra a un padre. The parent teaches the child what the demon taught them. Entonces el padre le enseña al hijo lo que el demonio le enseñó. So now in your household there's a demonic atmosphere and culture. Ahora una atmósfera demoníaca y cultura demoníaca en tu casa. All of a sudden the fear you have is because that fear was passed on by a mentality by a family member. Ahora de repente el temor que tú tienes fue porque alguien te lo pasó en tu familia. So you're like afraid of airplanes. You're afraid of that was a mentality passed on to you, and that mentality was given by a demon. Miedo de montarte en avión, miedo de hacer esto o aquello, y esa fue una mentalidad descargada de un demonio a tu padre y de tu padre. So in the name of Jesus, I arrest any demon in your imagination, or that has multiplied in your imagination. 
that has been waiting for you during birth. Que ha desde so watch it. Sometimes we ask why after deliverance. A veces por qué de there's uh, still a part of me that is struggling. Hay una parte de mí que todavía sigue sufriendo. That's why after people cast out demons, Por eso de echar fuera los demonios, they go to psychology. Se van a los and then from psychology, they go to medication. Y de a medicamentos. Because what the medication does, it gets you sleeping. Porque el medicamento te pone a dormir. And it sedates the, the, the images inside of you. Y la imágenes dentro de ti. But today, raise your hand. Say today. Today is my day of miracles. Today is my day of miracles. Say, come on, there's a part of me that needs to be cast out. There's a part of my personality that needs to be transformed. Put your hand in your say, there's a personality So watch this. Certain kingdoms. Ciertos reinos. Deal with certain personalities. That means when a demon wants to manifest, he has to manifest with a certain amount of information. Se manifiesta con cierta cantidad de información. That means certain information has to be released to you. Cierta información tiene que ser dada a ti. Before I can possess you. Antes de yo poseer. That's why we cannot tolerate just any kind of knowledge or information. Por eso no podemos tolerar toda información o tipo de conocimiento. A lot of times we're born into an environment of ignorance. Muchas veces nacimos en un ambiente de ignorancia. And we say, okay, well, I'm going to go to school to be a doctor. Dice, voy a la escuela a ser doctor. And I'm going to school to finance. O a la escuela de finanzas. But the universities can. Handle this spiritual warfare. Pero la no esta the government systems are taught you to survive, but not how to conquer. El sistema gobernamental te enseña cómo pero you no need sostener. a spiritual wisdom, not a carnal wisdom, to conquer spiritual enemies. You need a spiritual wisdom, not a carnal wisdom, to conquer spiritual atmospheres. That means there's a wisdom you must carry spiritually in order to reach your purpose and your destiny. Hay una sabiduría en particular espiritualmente que debes de portar para alcanzar tu destino. That means there's, there's, a, there's a part of you that you have not discovered. Hay una parte de ti que tú no has conocido y descubierto. Listen, listen. There's a personality in you that you have not discovered yet. Hay una personalidad que no has descubierto dentro de ti. Inside of you. Dentro de ti. There's a personality. Hay personalidad. That operates in signs and wonders and prophecy and healing and preaching and evangelism. There's a counter, there's a counterparty that's wealthy, that's abundant, that's rich. So watch this. It's easy for me to forgive you. Because now I know it wasn't you offending me, there was a spirit. Porque ahora sé que no que me sino un a de ti. There was a spirit. Espíritu, not flesh and blood no carne y sangre, dealing with that behavior lidiando con ese comportamiento. there was a force behind the person era, or the man that hurt you era una fuerza a través de ese hombre que te lastimó. that means the man or woman that hurt you there was a force behind them let me ask you a question when Pregunta. a drunk driver kills somebody un borracho mata a alguien, what is the reason do they arrest the car or the driver arrestan al carro o al conductor does the car get the felony or the person? ¿Quién coge la felonía, la persona o el carro? That means we're vehicles driven by spirits. Somos vehículos manejados por espíritu. Stop arresting and accusing the vehicle and go after the spirit. Para de acusar al vehículo y vete detrás del espíritu. Because there's a certain vehicle. When we're talking about the vehicle, but they're not even driving their own. Now you say I forgive you because it was never you. Ahora dice te perdono porque sé que no fuiste tú. You were just a vehicle being held captive by a spirit. Tú eras un vehículo simplemente siendo cautivo por un espíritu. And if it wasn't a spirit, then the spirit left its imagination in you. Y si no fue el espíritu, fue que el espíritu dejó su imaginación en ti. So you're a byproduct of a spiritual casualty. Entonces eres producto de una casualidad espiritual. Okay, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Vamos a un lugar ahora. Tell your neighbor it matters who does deliverance on you. Importa quién te hace liberación, dígale a su vecino. I want to break something down for you. Le voy a desatar esto. Tell your neighbor it matters who preaches to you. Importa quién te predica. Are you guys with me? Estás conmigo? If you go back to the to Mark, or chapter nine, verse twenty-one. Marcos capítulo nueve, versículo veintiuno. If you read the whole chapter, si lees todo el capítulo, the first verse I gave you, Mark nine. If you read the whole chapter, si lees todo el capítulo nueve. The first verse that we, we should be read about. Look, Mark in chapter 9. Verse, if you read the whole chapter, 
si lee todo el capítulo do you know the disciples tried to deliver this boy sabe que los discípulos trataron de liberar este niño and they said after the disciples tried to deliver this boy y después que los discípulos quisieron libertar este niño and they couldn't deliver y no pudieron libertarlo the demon got stronger and more intense el demonio se puso más intenso because after a man of God tries to do deliverance on you porque después de que el hombre de Dios trata de hacer liberación and the demon doesn't come out y el demonio no sale the demon gets stronger and more prideful el demonio se vuelve más orgulloso and says ah that Jesus name doesn't even scare me no more y dice ah ese nombre de Jesús ya ni me asusta the, the demon becomes more intense el demonio se vuelve más intenso that means the demons there are demons that hold records of titles they won over pastors and apostles hay demonios que tienen más títulos que los apóstoles y pastores. Y dice, fue esta iglesia. Y le caía golpe pastor. Fue esta iglesia. Y le di al profeta. Fue esta iglesia. Y le di una cachetada a la puerta. Ahora cuando va a la próxima iglesia. Viene de la izquierda. El principado y de mi iglesia. Le ha ganado a 10 pastores. Cuando una liberación es hecha a un demonio and the demon doesn't come out, y el demonio no sale, the demon starts getting stronger. el demonio se vuelve más fuerte, It's se fortalece. Es como la nieve, así que va creciendo. The mountain gets bigger. La montaña se incrementa. The demon you saw in this, in this verse, the demon Le got more violent. Se puso más violento. El the demon got more proud. Se puso más orgulloso. The demon got more stubborn. Se puso más testaduro. So now Jesus says, how long has he been dealing with this? Jesus dice, ¿por cuánto tiempo está lidiando con esto? When Jesus is asking the Father how long the demon's been the Son, lo que Jesús está diciendo al Padre, ¿cuánto tiempo ha estado el demonio? He said, how many Pharisees and Sadducees and priests have tried to deliver this boy? ¿Cuántos sacerdotes, saduceos, saduceos trataron de libertar este demonio? How many attempts of removing this spirit? ¿Cuánto intentaron remover este demonio? That means the spirit, the evil spirit, the principality intensified. El espíritu malvado y el principado se intensificaron. It started as a weak spirit. Empezó como un espíritu. It started as swinging the spirit. Como un espíritu suave. But it got stronger. Pero se fue fortaleciendo. It got it, the, the sons of Sceva. It said when the when the demons beat the sons of Sceva, the spirit got stronger. Cuando los espíritus le dieron golpe a los hijos de Sceva, ellos se fortalecieron más. So now, when you're dealing with a mindset and a spirit, cuando te está lidiando con la mentalidad y el espíritu, and you go to other churches, y vas a otras iglesias that don't do deliverance, que no hace liberación, now you come back to this church. Ahora viene a esta iglesia. I'm not dealing with the same. Yo no estoy lidiando con el mismo espíritu. I'm not dealing with the same spirit that you left with. No estoy lidiando con el espíritu que tú te fuiste. Because that man of God, porque ese hombre de Dios, he couldn't deal with that spirit. No pudo lidiar con ese espíritu. Now that spirit got stronger. Ahora ese espíritu se fortaleció. That spirit got more rank in the demonic kingdom. Ahora tiene más rango en el ámbito del espíritu. That spirit got merits now. Ahora tiene méritos. Okay, what am I saying? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? That Religious churches que las iglesias religiosas can intensify demonic principalities. Pueden intensificar principados demoníacos. That means demons. Okay. Significa que los demonios. Okay, now in this it said it said the best attention. Presta atención. Now now preaching. Predicando. It said the demon led him to the what? El demonio lo llevó a dónde? To the fire. Al fuego. And to the what? Y el agua. Now the demon is leading your direction. Ahora el demonio está dirigiendo tus pasos. So demons will lead what church they feel comfortable. Ahora los demonios te llevan a la iglesia donde se sienten cómodos. The demons say stay in this church because I'm peaceful here. I'm pe they don't do deliverance here. My demon is comfortable. The temperature is lukewarm. Here. Los demonios dicen quédate en esta iglesia que la temperatura está perfecta. So you go to these programs and your marriages get worse. Vas a tu programa y tu matrimonio empeora. You go to these seven step programs. And your demon becomes bigger. Now you come to me to fix it, and it's not the same problem. Now you come to me and it's not the same problem. Because 
evil spirits choose locations. Porque los espíritus malévolos ellos eligen tu localidad, tu local. Evil spirits choose environments for you. Ellos eligen el ambiente para ti. They confirm where they want you. Ellos te plantan donde te quieren ver. And they say, all you have to do is be born again. Y dice solo tienes que nacer de nuevo. So now you start going to church. Y ahora vas a la iglesia. No, I'm not going to this church. No, no voy a esta iglesia. I'm going to this church. Voy a la iglesia. It's only hour long. Es un servicio de una hora. It is so it is so secret friendly. Es tan amistoso. It's so great. Es tan maravilloso. I, 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 you know, I love it. It's not I love it. So now what happens? No amo. Your conscience becomes feeling good. Ahora tu conciencia se empieza a sentir bien. Your conscience, your your subconscious, tu subconsciencia. Yes, ventilation. Ahora como ventilador. I want to church this Sunday. Para la iglesia. So the demon says, I want to keep your conscience feeling good. Entonces el demonio dice, quiero que tu conciencia se mantenga bien. But I don't want you to get delivered. Pero no quiero que sea libertado. I'm into this program. Sanidades. Can you give me three moments? Three minutes, por favor. Three moments. Three minutes, por favor. Because the demon goes, that man of God will challenge my demon. Porque el demonio dice, ese hombre de Dios no va a perjudicar mi demonio. And the person that he invites, y a la persona que invita, birds of a feather flock together. Viene feo y el otro. The next preacher he invites is not going to cast out my demon. Aquel que viene no va a echar fuera mi demonio. So he says, stay in that location. Dice, quédate en ese lugar, en ese stay in that territory. Quédate en ese territorio. Okay, are you guys with me? ¿Estás conmigo? En el nombre de Jesús. That means there are religious rituals. Hay rituales religiosos. That in the one switch pop yo. Switch pop. We're going to hang it out. Oh, you're standing up, okay? Okay, we're going to pray now. Have a seat, we'll pray now. We speak against any attack right now. Have a seat, we'll pray now. I have a thought I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Don't worry, it's just an attack. Don't worry about it. Pray that right now. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Real quick, pay attention. Remember what I was praying for distraction. That means they're religious spirits. Hay espíritus religiosos. That intensify the mind of presence. That intensify the mind of presence. Hay espíritus religiosos. That intensify demonic presence. That means demons become comfortable with places and preachers and environments. Porque los demonios se ponen cómodos con predicadores y sitios. There's certain places where demons feel safe. Hay sitios donde los demonios se sienten seguros. They know that this minister will counterattack them. Ellos saben que ese ese ministro no va a ir contra de ellos. So now that religious environment and territory, the demon. Entonces ese ambiente religioso el demonio se empodera y se pone más fuerte. The demon becomes strengthened and more powerful. El demonio se pone más fuerte y más poderoso. That's why this boy was led into the fire and led into the. His father went to church. Por eso que este niño estaba en ese fuego porque su papá sí fue a la iglesia iba a la iglesia. That means watch this. There's such thing as false victories. Hay cosas como victorias falsas. There's such thing as false victories. Hay, hay cosas como victorias falsas, existen. That means demons have a history of churches and pastors they conquered. Entonces los demonios tienen una historia de iglesias y pastores que ellos han conquistado. Watch this. When all of a sudden your pastor says fast. Cuando tu pastor de momento te dice ayuna. And in the fasting the demon gets stronger. Y entonces cuando estás ayunando el demonio se empodera más. You start praying, and in the prayer, the demon gets stronger. The demon becomes more intelligent. Entonces, hasta el demonio es más inteligente. So, as some people, do you, have you ever seen a sick person in the hospital? ¿Tú has visto la gente enferma en un hospital? You know what's the first thing a person stops doing before they get really sick? ¿Tú sabes lo que una persona para de hacer cuando se enferma? Who can tell me? They stop eating. Dejan de comer. That means before the demon can. Come into them. They have to do a fast. Antes que el demonio entre a ellos, tienen que hacer un ayuno. So there's demonic fasting and there's godly fasting. Hay ayunos demoníacos y hay ayunos que son de Dios. Some people, I don't tell them to stop fast. I said, you gotta eat for your deliverance. Hay gente que yo le digo, no haga ayuno. Tú tienes que comer para tu liberación. Because before a person gets sick, the first thing the enemy does is have them go on a fast. 
Porque cuando una persona está enferma, lo, lo primero que hace el demonio es poner una gente que comienza a ayunar. Then, okay. so when you start, when a person in the hospital stops eating, cuando una persona en un hospital para de comer, the spirit of sickness is able to settle in because their lack of eating. Entonces se ajusta ese espíritu de enfermedad porque no porque no están comiendo. That's why when a person has a heartbreak, their husband broke up with them. When they go into depression, the first thing they do is stop eating. Cuando esa persona tenía un corazón roto por depresión, por un divorcio, ahí es que comienzan ellos y paran de comer. So the demon has them go into a fast. Entonces el demonio hace que ellos entren en ayuno. So the demon cannot incubate them, can possess them. Entonces el, el demonio quiere incurvarse en ellos para después poseerlos. We see a pastor that you fast. Y entonces el pastor está diciendo, tienen que ayunar. No, but in Revelation is the opposite, you gotta eat. Pero la revelación es opuesto. And que comer. in your eating, you start becoming delivered. Y en tu, en tu comer, tu nutrición, ahí que tú vienes a estar liberado. In your eating, you see signs, wonders, and miracles. Cuando está comiendo, ahí que tú vas a ver las señales y las maravillas. Let's all stand. Vamos a pararnos todos. Amén. There's some people Hay gente that they pray in ignorance. Que oran en ignorancia. They, don't, they pray two or three hours, but not according to the word of God. Pueden orar dos o tres horas, pero no de acuerdo a la palabra del Señor. They read the Bible, but it's not according to the Holy Spirit. Leen la palabra, pero no acuerdo al Espíritu Santo. Okay, are you following? Me están siguiendo? That means the prayer you're praying. Eso quiere decir la oración que tú estás orando. If it's a religious prayer. Si es una uh, oración religiosa. The demon is getting strong. El demonio se está empoderando. So there's some people that come here, come here, prophet. Hay gente que viene aquí y tú me dices para él, él te dice para de orar. Porque tus oraciones no son oraciones, son encantaciones. Tus oraciones no son espirituales del Señor, sino demoníacas. Tu oración está fortaleciendo esos demonios. Your fasting is fortifying the presence of demons. Ese ayuno está So much as there's no some people that read the Bible. Hay gente que lee la Biblia. Come on, and you say you want to deliver? Stop reading the Bible. Y tú tienes que decirle tú quieres ser liberado no lea tu Biblia. Because they're reading the Bible to justify their sin. Entonces ellos están leyendo la palabra para justificar su pecado. They're reading the Bible without the Holy Spirit. Pero están leyendo sin el Espíritu Santo. So they're reading the Bible and their motivation for fasting and prayer is based on the Spirit, not the Holy Spirit. Entonces leer la palabra están motivando a ayunar y orar, pero están siendo motivados por un espíritu religioso. And they're tapping more into the dark kingdom than the kingdom of light. Entonces están entrando al reino oscuro más que al reino de luz. So they're praying more and the demons are getting more fortified. Entonces están orando, entonces los demonios se están empoderando más. The demonic creatures are going into their house. Si tú le das a los ratones un veneno, si tú le das a los ratones venenos, entonces los ratones son inteligentes, entonces ellos no van a comer ese veneno más. Ellos dicen, ah, entonces eso es una liberación falsa. It's called a fake manifestation. Eso es una manifestación falsa. That means you must know how to read the God with the Word of God with the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Tú tienes que aprender a leer la palabra con la revelación del Espíritu Santo. Call that rima. Eso se llama rima. You must know how to pray. Tú tienes que saber orar. Not religious prayers, but with the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit. No oraciones religiosas, sino con la unción y el poder del Espíritu Santo. Because when religious people started praying for you, Entonces, la gente religiosa, a orar por this, it irritated the demon and the demon got stronger. <laughs> when you started fasting, the demon started pursuing you. Entonces, tú a ayunar, el Because a this, you fasted, prayed, and read the Bible out of self-righteousness. Porque tú estabas leyendo la Biblia, o sea, para justificar out of pride, de orgullo, out of la anger, la rabiosa, de out of hurt, hurt eh, eh, por dolor, out of self-righteousness, porque te crees mejor que todo el mundo, y por religión. Well, Pastor, where is that Biblia? ¿A dónde está eso en la Biblia? Where did Jesus ever say that? ¿Dónde Jesús dijo eso? I'm glad you asked. Give me Luke chapter 18. Gracias por preguntar. In Luke chapter 18, verse 10. Vamos a ver Lucas 18, 10. Chapter verse 10. There's two kind of prayers. Hay dos tipos de oraciones. In this verse, there's wrong prayers and right prayers. En este versículo vamos a ver los, los It says two men. Jesus said two men went to the temple to what? Pray. 
To what? Come on, say pray. To what? Pray. To what? Pray. One was a Pharisee, the other was a tax collector. The next verse. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank you I'm not like this other man. I thank you I'm not adulterous. I'm unjust. I thank you I'm not like him. Was the Pharisee praying yesterday? Yes. Was the demon inside the Pharisee getting stronger or weaker through the prayer? Stronger. 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 Even stronger. Yes. Aquí estamos viendo un ejemplo de dos personas que van al templo a orar. Aquí vemos un fariseo que está orando y diciéndole al Señor, gracias Señor que yo no soy como ellos. Okay, Next verse. I fast twice a week. Y dice el fariseo, yo eh, ayuno dos veces a la semana. Was the, fa was the Pharisee fasting yesterday? Sí. Did the fasting make the demon stronger or weaker? Entonces lo que pasa es que ese fariseo estaba orando y estaba ayunando, pero estaba alimentando ese demonio de poder. Entonces si alguien ora por ti quiere decir que te van a liberar de poder. Si están ayunando eso quiere decir que va a ser liberado. That means there are places and rituals that will make your demons stronger. Whoever Mar bring Margie, she's the baby. Eso quiere decir que a veces hay oraciones y rituales religioso que nosotros hacemos creyendo He que estamos haciendo bien. Tithe, I give my tithes, Yo doy diezmo. But my heart is not right. Pero tu corazón no está bien. Watch this next verse. And the tax collector standing afar. Y había un hombre que colectaba los who not much had raised his eyes to heaven and beat his chest. Y él no, and say I'm just a sinner. I'm a sinner. Y él comenzó a decir Señor yo soy un pecador. Next verse. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Te digo que este hombre fue a su casa más justificado que al otro, que el otro. So there are places you can go to, churches you can go to, people that can pray for you. By the words, did the Pharisees know the scriptures? Yes or no? Los fariseos sabían la escritura. In reading the Bible, did they get delivered? Yes or no? Y leyendo las palabras fueron liberados. That means reading the Bible, praying and fasting would not bring you in deliverance. Eso quiere decir si aunque lea la palabra y ayuna no quiere decir que tú vas a recibir liberación that means religion can break you down eso quiere decir que la religión te puede hasta romper religion can give you condemnation now you oh, the demon can't come out of you because you feel guilty now porque ahora mismo entonces la religión lo que te da es más condenación te sientes condenado there are particular prayers that you think you're praying but you're doing enchantment hay, hay algunas oraciones que tú crees que son buenas pero en realidad son como encantaciones que te estás haciendo religiosas so there are certain prayers in certain churches that can intensify the demon you're dealing with entonces hay ciertas iglesias ciertos sitios que pueden intensificar ese demonio dentro de ti so there are some people that come to church hay gente que va a tu iglesia. You say stop fasting, stop praying, stop reading the Bible. Let me deal with the spirit first, and I'll give you further instructions. Dice, deja de leer la iglesia, deja de ayunar, deja de orar, déjame lidiar con ese demonio. You see, if you're religious, you'll be like, oh my God, what is that pastor saying? Oh my God, what is he doing? And how, how is he saying that he's, he's false? He's false. Mucha gente puede decir, ay, señor, qué está diciendo este pastor? Es falso, es falso, falso. Give me a week or two, and you don't pray, you don't fast, because the way you pray and fast is harnessing the spirit inside of you. Es que es la manera que tú estás orando y ayunando que está ayudando ese demonio. ¿Están entendiendo lo que digo? Hay cierta atmósfera y sitios que te mantienen atado eh, con demonios. Because demons feed off of those kind of prayers Por, and those kind of atmospheres. Porque los demonios se alimentan en esas atmósferas y esos sitios. Because they do pray ignorantly. Porque están orando ignorantemente. They fast ignorantly. Están ayunando ignorante, ignorantemente. So just because you and they say, no, you don't gotta go to church. Just go home, pray, read your Bible, pray, Dice, and you can have church by yourself. You don't need to go to the four walls. Mucha gente dice, tú no tienes que ir a la iglesia, quédate en la casa, ponte en la Biblia y orar. No necesitas ir a las cuatro paredes. That's a demon instructing you. Eso es un demonio que te está instruyendo. They start using the word of God to validate their behavior. Their demons start becoming stronger. Eso demonio se está poniendo más fuerte. Amen. That's true. Okay, so so there was a you know uh, there, there was an, uh, a man that was a uh, eunuch. Había un hombre que era un, un eunuco. In the book of Acts, didn't the nice down? You, you knew who? In the book of Acts. En el libro de Hechos. He was reading the Bible. Estaba leyendo la Biblia. And he didn't know what he was reading. Y él ni sabía lo que estaba leyendo. I bet he was praying and fasting. Y yo te apuesto que estaba orando y ayunando. Philip had to be in 
teleports into trans and late. Entonces, Philip, that's how they to interpret the word. Philip tuvo que ser, o sea, ir a ese sitio, eh, transport, transportado a ese sitio para, uh, eh, o sea, eh, picarle la palabra. O sea. That means there are places that you go because the man of God can interpret spiritual things to you. Hay sitios que tú vas porque el hombre de Dios puede interpretarte cosas. This is a serious matter. Esto es un, una cosa seria. If the Bible delivers si la Biblia libera a la gente. Why do you think there's Bible in the hotel rooms in the courtrooms? ¿Por qué tú crees que hay Biblias en los hoteles y en las cortes? And what do they do in hotels? ¿Y qué hacen en los hoteles? In every in a hotel room there's a Bible. En todos los hoteles, en los cuartos, hay la habitación es interpreted so they stay victimized. Pero la gente no sabe interpretar y se quedan como víctimas. Last verse is read together. Second Timothy three five. Second Timothy three five. Dos Timoteo tres cinco. Watch this. Go to verse 4. Yep. No, actually, go to stay with verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people stay away from it. Gente que aparentan que son de Dios o tienen el poder de Dios, pero no tienen el poder de Dios, tienen que, o sea, echar, no acercarte a esa gente, echarla fuera. Because some environments without power will strengthen the demon. Porque hay siete atmósferas que pueden empoderar, empoderar ese demonio. There are certain churches that, oh my God, it's a cute church. It was so good, I felt emotion. But that that man of God is strengthening the the, the principality in your family. Porque mucha iglesia que linda, que bonita, que bonito el servicio, pero lo que no saben que ese hombre de Dios está empoderando ese demonio dentro de ti. I love I love watch I love the New Living Translation. A mí me encanta. It says they will act religiously, but they will reject the power that can make them godly. Stay away with such people. That means today is a day of reset. Don't be afraid to say, Holy Spirit, lead me. Holy Spirit, discipline me. Holy Spirit, teach me how to pray. This is not about, oh, now I can't pray no more because Pastor said don't pray. I ain't going to church, but I'm going to say, Holy Spirit, I don't want to leave because I'm emotional. I want to leave because it's spiritual. Espíritu Santo, yo no quiero o, o sea moverme o hacer nada si no es eh, no emocional, sino espiritual a través de ti. The, 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 the demons and principalities will make you get offended with your pastor or the church. Principalities will make you get offended with the pastor because they want to direct you to another place. Principados y demonios se pueden ofender con el pastor porque no quieren que vaya y quieren que tú vayas a otro lugar. So, if, listen, if you ever gonna leave any place, si tú vas a irte de un sitio, some people say, well, I want you to run out of this place. Y mucha gente va a decir, yo quiero que tú salgas corriendo de este sitio. Okay, but we need deliverance. Why don't you run there? Y entonces, porque cuando se necesitaba liberación, porque tú When no you need a prophecy, ahí. why didn't you run there? Cuando tú necesitabas liberación profecía, ¿por qué no cogiste a ese entonces? Cuando necesitabas revelación, ¿por qué no cogiste en ese entonces? Pero cuando una situación viene, los demonios te van a digerir a donde tú te sientes más cómodo. Lo que es bueno cada rato no es de Dios. Es una decisión buena. That's a good step. Eso es una buena punto. Religious is good, but religion is not godly. La religión es buena, pero la religión no es de Dios. That means good things can strengthen demons, but godly things will destroy you. De cosas buenas pueden dar fuerza a un demonio, pero cosas de Dios pueden romper esos demonios. So in the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. If you ever come from another ministry. Si tú vienes de otro ministerio. In the ministry you come from, close your eyes. It's not been an apostolic ministry. No es un ministerio apostólico. A fivefold ministry. De cinco, de cinco oficinas. Hay, hay ministerios proféticos. They prophesy. Profetiza. They believe in dream interpretation. Ellos creen interpretar sueños. Pero no hace liberación. So what I'm saying is, you you got to be in a fivefold ministry. Tiene que estar en un ministerio que carga las cinco oficinas. That not only prophesy. No solamente profetiza. But believe in the apostolic. Pero creen en la autoridad apostólica. Believe in the apostolic mandate. Creen en la de los mandamientos. El mandamiento de lo apostólico. Have not just a prophetic mindset, but an apostolic mindset. No nada más tener una mente profética, pero también tener una mente apostólica. There was a church man, prophet Joe, you know. De, I think he's a 
una iglesia que yo y la apóstol conocemos bien profético todo lo que hacían era profetizar interpretaban todos los sueños todo pero no hacían liberación no echaban fuera de Dios oh lo que hacían era o sea absorber eh, adoración y profetizar todo el día la iglesia se rompió porque no había autoridad y no había orden hay iglesias que hasta te pueden dar consejería pero puede hasta alimentar ese oh, demonio say, oh my God, we got marriage counseling. ah tenemos consejería de, de, de matrimonio my conscience is good, ay mi conciencia está buena but now the demon got strong. pero ahora el, el, el demonio está más fuerte no, it's not like counseling is, is good. Eh, eh, cuando tú das consejería no es que es malo es but bueno not talking just to talk. pero no es hablar por hablar it's talking because there's a strategy behind the talk. es hablar porque hay una estrategia detrás de hablar if I talk about my problems to you, si yo te hablo de todos mis problemas I really entonces yo estoy desatando la misma química de mi cuerpo a ti entonces yo comienzo a recibir el mismo dolor si aquí vamos a hablar aquí vamos a hablar de una solución una estrategia que te va a ayudar que va a estar atada a la conversación o hay una profética instrucción o hay una instrucción profética atada a esa conversación en el nombre de Jesús If you were taught in other ministries, si a ti te enseñaron en otros ministerios por esto, por esto es muy importante en el nombre de Jesús no solo Jesús son los mismos Jesús tú puedes decir el nombre de Jesús pero su Jesús no sana su Jesús no hace milagros su Jesús no hace milagros su Jesús no hace milagros su Jesús no hace enseñas y maravillas Is it the same Jesus? Es el mismo Jesús. That's why some of you have to come here and receive Jesus again because the Jesus you received was weak. Is not the power of Jesus that we know the word of God. Por eso mucha gente viene aquí y recibe a Jesús otra vez porque no es el mismo Jesús de. The Jesus that you received was the Jesus in the manger, not the Jesus as a, it goes a step further. Jesús que ustedes recibieron es el bebé que estaba que oh nació en el pesebre. When Jesus was on earth, he walked on water. Porque cuando Jesús caminó en la tierra, caminó en agua. He healed the sick. Y sanó los enfermos. Now it's not the same Jesus. Ese no es el mismo Jesús. Ahora dice que Jesús está glorificado en la mano derecha. El Jesús que yo le sigo es más, más fuerte y poderoso que el que tú lees en la Biblia. El Jesús que predicamos no es el mismo eh, que está en la Biblia. Jesús en Matthew, Mark, Luke, y John. This is a powerful Jesus. A glorified Jesus. So put your hand on your head. Pongan sus manitas arriba de sus cabezas. God is here. Por el Señor te está sanando. Se te ve para ya te ve. Every decision you make. Toda decisión que tú hagas. You ask yourself. Pregunta. Why am I making this decision? Por qué yo estoy haciendo esta decisión. Is it emotional? Es emocional. Did I pray about this decision? Sobre esta decisión. Did I fast about this decision? Ayuné sobre esta decisión. They got to, listen, there's even people that say, well, I want to move because I want to, I, probably, you know, do you have, elder, do you guys have land in another place? Yes, we do. They have acres already bought in another place, and they haven't left because God says not yet. Amen. Just because you have the opportunity to move, aunque tú tengas la oportunidad para mudarte, no quiere decir que Dios quiere que te mude, tienes que orar. And I'll say the name, the name of the Vieras, the Vieras. Los nombres de las vieras. The vieras were pastors. Las vieras eran pastores. They left a particular region. Se fueron de una región particular to to region. para ir a otra a otra región. Because this region is not good for us. Porque esta región no es buena It para nosotros. It was a good decision. Era una buena decisión. But when they moved, pero cuando se mudaron, all their sons and their grandchildren died. Todos los nietos se murieron. Joey, he got he got arrested and died in prison. Uno que se llama Joey se murió en la prisión. The other brother got stabbed in in a bakery. Otro hermano fue puñalado. Joey's son got stabbed got shot in the hood. Y otro fue muerto en donde vive. Because it was a good decision for them to move. But the place changed their family. Pero ese sitio cambió la familia. That's why very places, places are very serious. Por eso que los sitios son bien serios, las regiones. Because there are places that hold your deliverance and your destiny. Porque hay regiones que 
aguanta tu liberación y tu destino. You see, when Saul, cuando Saul, is that he made sacrifices, él hizo sacrificios before the prophet came. Antes que llegara el profeta. And the prophet said, "How can you do this wickedness?" El profeta dice, "¿Cómo tú pudiste hacer esta maldición?" Because I was waiting for you. You were taking too long. You were taking too long, and 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 and, and the fighting was getting more fierce. Entonces dice Rey eh, Saúl, era que tú te tardaste mucho y esta gente estaba peleando ya. Y a veces tú puedes estar en un sitio y tú crees que Dios está atrasando, tardándose, pero él es que está, él está probando tu fe. Entonces el rey Saúl pensó que él tenía que hacer ese sacrificio y se desesperó y no esperó por el profeta. Samuel said what you did was a wicked thing and, and for this Saul your kingdom will be stripped from you. You didn't wait for me. You measured your time humanly, not spiritually. Entonces el profeta uh, Samuel le dijo, tú tenías que esperar por mí, tú me diste esto por la carne, no espiritualmente, y ahora mismo el reino se, se, va, se va a salir debajo de ti. Now, if God doesn't have you to place, you need to quit. Si Dios no está en ese sitio, tú te vas rápido. Place, Entonces, si Dios está en un sitio, tú tienes que esperar. Puede ser meses, años, días. No te muevas hasta que el Espíritu de Dios entre a ti. No te muevas hasta que el Espíritu de Dios entre a ti. Y te diga. No por un vientecito. O un vientecito. Y vamos a terminar. Entonces, Padre, el Señor es el Señor. Lead me to the right places. Lead me to right territories. Lead me to right families. Families that will strengthen me. You see my wife here? If my wife cooks for Prophet Yoda, si mi esposa cocina para el profeta y mi esposa cocina para el anciano you know what Jose and Yoda say? tú sabes lo que la profeta y el anciano van a decir They're gonna say the pastors cook for los pastores cocinaron para nosotros If my wife makes a down a steak, si mi esposa hace un bistequisito los pastores cocinaron por nosotros one. porque son uno so, If my wife counsels you, entonces si mi esposa, mi esposa te aconseja, if my wife becomes your friend, si mi esposa hace es amiga tuya, that means we are your friends. Entonces nosotros somos tus amigos. Because me and her cannot be disconnected. Porque yo y ella no podemos estar desconectados. That means if you don't talk to my wife, si tú no hablas con mi esposa, when you talk to me, entonces tú me hablas a mí, you're also talking to her. Tú también estás hablando a ella. You're going to say the lead, the pastoral family helped me. La la familia pastoral me ayudó. If my wife gives you $200, si mi esposa te da $200, you're not going to say my wife gave you $200. You're going to say the pastoral family gave you $200. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral family. Because me and her come with a pastoral cuando tú estás hablando con ella, tú en realidad estás hablando conmigo. When you think you're speaking to her, it's actually me because God doesn't see us. When I'm doing deliverance, she's doing deliverance. Cuando yo estoy haciendo liberación, ella está haciendo liberación porque somos uno. That means when she, uh, when she prays at night. Cuando ella ora en la noche. And I'm here to preach today. Y yo estoy predicando hoy. Even though she's not preaching. Aunque ella no esté predicando. But she's in me as I'm preaching. Ella está dentro de mí mientras yo predique. And as I'm doing deliverance, but she's not around. Y yo estoy haciendo liberación y la gente dice que ella está. Oh, sí. Ella sí está porque yo estoy. So a day I show up or I don't show up and one of us are here, we're both here, not one. Eh, cualquier día que yo venga o ella venga es lo, es lo mismo que los dos estuvieran en ese mismo sitio. Because we are a representation of each other. Porque nosotros somos una representación de uno a otro. That's why your family is in shambles. Por eso si la familia está cayéndose no, en pedazos y ahora se They tiene. say that family. Ella dice, esa familia. Esa familia está loca. Porque ahora la familia es una. Ellos dicen, esa iglesia. Entonces, si ya tú estás hablando de mí, tú estás hablando de todo el mundo dentro de mí. ¿Tú has visto gente? Que se van de esta iglesia. Pero están conectados contigo en las redes sociales. Oh, te ves bien. Te ves bien. Y no 
comment on me, they comment on me. Ellos no saben que cuando ellos comentan a ti, comentan a mí. Only if they, when they say, girl, you look good. Cuando ella dice, ay, te ves bien bonita. Por eso dice, una mente, un espíritu Cuando tú comentas, no es un comentario solitario, es un comentario unidos, juntos. Si tú te vas, no, no puedes elegir quién te vas, porque si te vas, entonces todos deben salir de ese lugar. Si te vas, entonces desconectate completamente. Married marriages that when they get a divorce, they don't want to talk to the father and the family. Sí, cuando tú dejas una mujer, porque si él still talks to the sister or she still talks to the sister, that keeps them in connection with the person. Porque esto hizo divorcio cuando se se divorcia, entonces todavía siguen hablando la misma gente. En realidad están todos conectados. Even though I didn't divorce the sister, I can no longer talk to the sister because if I talk to the sister, I'm kind of talking to him, so I got this connection for everybody. Cuando tú te desconectas, tienes que desconectarte de todo el mundo. Porque si estás hablando con una persona, todavía estás conectada con todo el mundo. Dime el poder de uno. There's a revelation to one. Hay una revelación para unidad, uno. So in the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. He ka robo shiki. Makoto robo shaka. Morra ka santere makai. Come on, there's a fire. Say Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Santo. Just like you let Jesus into miracles. Así como tú guiaste a Jesucristo a los milagros. You let Jesus into signs and wonders. Tú guiaste a Jesús a las maravillas. You're the same God that led you. You're the same Holy Spirit that led Jesus into the desert. Tú eres el mismo Espíritu Santo, Señor. Dijiste a Jesús al desierto. So there's some places I may not like. Hay sitios que no me van a gustar. But there's some places that even I don't like. There's something in that place that can strengthen me. Porque aunque no me guste ese sitio, hay algo en ese sitio que me fortalece. Or there's a place that I must leave because it's not strengthening. Y hoy hay un sitio o que yo tengo que dejar porque no me está fortaleciendo. I'm never mediating. Yo no soy el mediante. De la gente que se va. Yo no estoy diciendo que si se van van a ser maldecidos. No estoy diciendo eso. Lo que yo no soy es el mediante entre tú y Dios. Ya eso se acabó. Cuando hay una transición, tiene que ser en paz y por el Espíritu Santo. Tiene que ser hecho en orden. Vamos a cerrar nuestros ojos. Si hay áreas en mí que están en orden, Paul said, "The apostle said, 'Wretched man that I am.'" El apóstol dice que malvado soy yo. The apostle Paul said, "Even though I'm spiritual, there's still things in me, my carnality, that I need to be delivered from." El mismo apóstol decía, yo mismo tengo cosas en la carne que necesito lidiar con esas cosas. It says Elijah was a man of like passions. Dice que él decía era un hombre de pasión. There's things in the man of listen. Before your man is a man of God, he's a man. Antes del hombre de Dios ser hombre de Dios es un hombre. Before your man is a man of God, he's a man. Antes de ser un hombre de Dios es un hombre. So there's a part of mercy you have to give him as a man. Entonces tú tienes que darle un poco de misericordia como hombre. And there's a part of grace you have to give him as a man. Entonces tú tienes que darle un poquito de de gracia como en su área de hombre. And prophesy him and move him to direction. Al contrario, profetiza y mueve la dirección que tiene que ir. Because your imagination and the spirit can move your children, your pastors can move your mothers, can move your fathers when you see them in the prophetic imagination. Cuando tú lo ves en la imaginación profética, tú puedes moverlo a esos sitios que Dios quiere que yo esté. So in the name of Jesus, en el nombre de Jesús, I speak freedom now. Ahora mismo hablo libertad sobre ti. Any spirit that wants to tie you. Before we came here, antes de venir aquí, there was a woman of God. I'm not saying her name, but she was she was manifesting outside. Había una mujer que se estaba manifestando afuera. And the way she started getting deliverance, como ella comenzó a recibir la liberación, I started to prophesy. Comencé a profetizar. I started telling her about her. Comencé a hablarle sobre ella. I started telling her things I saw in her childhood. Y cosas que yo vi en sus niñas. And you saw the freedom coming. Y tú viste la liberación venir. So the love of God can be on her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit brought her. Because there, there was a deliverance in this place that the Holy Spirit
God has taken you out of some places. El Señor te ha sacado unos sitios. Because there are certain places and people that are keeping you bound. Hay sitios que te tienen atada. There are places that you enter and you could have died. Hay sitios que tú entras y que podía morir. And there was even a spirit of suicide that came upon you. And the spirit of suicide right now. I cast out the spirit of suicide now. The spirit of suicide out now in the name of Jesus. How many churches has she been to? How many churches has she been to and got wine to? She never, she never had liberty in the church. Every church she went to, the spirit gets stronger. But today we discover a new personality. I speak to any sickness in your blood. In the name of Jesus, any injection that was in your body. Any I, see, I, see, I, see, I, see, I see some drug coming out, right? Well, what is the drug? Coke and cashew oil. Ahí viene la cocaína. Fuera, fuera, fuera en el nombre de Jesucristo. It's not about a ministry being better than any other ministry. It's about letting the flow of the spirit move. Okay, and the yeah, yeah, okay, there, 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 be free. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. In the name of Jesus. God says, I'm bringing you into a partnership of the Spirit. But God says, there's also some deliverance in some places that you thought you came from her, but God said, I came from you. In the name of Jesus. Because God I've seen your tears. Cry it up, cry it up. God's Give me some nothing. Give me some nothing. God says there's been even abuse, emotional abuse in the name of Jesus. What happened when you were young? Yes, I still I see that you've been molested before. Have you told me this before? Because God loves you and 
God becomes the first thing in me. It's not because I want to show up my prophetic skills. It's because I want to show you how personal God becomes with you. There was something diagnosed in the name of Jesus. Hey, you can't let my mind huh? Liver kidney. There was a diagnosis, but God says, I'm going to heal you from the diagnosis in the name of Jesus. I'm going to heal you from the diagnosis in the name of Jesus. But God knows, you know, you're, the, you know you're, the, you're the deliverance ministers. You know God's calling for deliverance. You're going to deliver people from demons. The reason you brought her up is you want to see a deliverance. And God is going to make you a great deliverance minister. God's going to train you for deliverance. I see you traveling. I see you traveling. Hey, receive the whole portion of that Because you have a heart for people. Is that correct? Every time you see even homeless people, there's something. Okay. Correct? Correct? I didn't even look at the badge, but in the name of Jesus, there it goes. Because what? There's a justice in you. There's a justice you carry. Hold this real quick. I'm going to represent the Father that molested you. And I want to tell you, Lord, I'm sorry. But just like Jesus took the sins of the world on him, I take the sin of your Father upon me. And I ask you to forgive me in the name of Jesus. Lord, forgive me. Can't take me right here. Receive that. Receive that here. Lord, I'm a Father. Hey, have mercy. Hey, have be free, be free. You cried at night and you felt guilty. You said, God, it was my fault. It was my fault. In the name of Jesus, be free, daughter. Be free. Hey, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. There's a spirit of hurt coming out now in the name of Jesus. A spirit of depression. There's something even in your thyroid being healed now. And your, your, your thyroid will be recommended. God says, even I'm changing your personality, I'm changing the way your body structure, your physiology, your mind, everything. In the name of Right now, right now, both of you will come As you rock side to side, you're going to feel the power of God. There's a heat coming up on your body. Side to side. I break all marine spirit. I break all mercury spirit. I break all mercury spirit in the name of Jesus. All sir, all water kingdom spirit must come out in the name of Jesus. Come out of her mind. Come out of her mind. Hey, here goes the blood. We're ready to do this. Okay, okay, let's, let's focus one more. Everybody's pretty much in the house. Get the basket. Let it go. That means there are some teachings. Hay una enseñanza que puede detener tu liberación. That can detain your deliverance. <coughs> now, we're going to do something different because we got time to question. Vamos a hacer algo diferente. As you're taking the communion, mientras estás tomando la Santa Cena, there's going to be healings that are going to start happening. There's someone here with a lower back pain. Be healed now. Let's you raise your hand. Come. A lower back pain. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Somebody in your back has been hurting you for, for the last few days. I want to hear you now. Come up quickly. If that's you with the back pain, come up quickly. Pray for Pray for Let's set the chair on. Pray It's okay. We're counting on my As he steps around to me. There's someone here you haven't ate for a day or two because of depression. I am not going to go the apoca depression. I want you to be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Who's that person? Who is you? In the name of Jesus, God is healing. Let's start. Um, let me get some. Uh, let me get elder or the ushers. I know we're busy. Let's pass out the community in the name of Jesus. Come on, as, as we're doing this, I want you to activate tongues. Speak tongues. Come on, speak tongues in the name of Jesus. Watch God. Come on, activate tongues. Watch God do something as you're as you doing with me. Activate tongues in the name of Jesus.
Where's Kenny? Switch. Switch with him. Sanando el cerebro, sanando el cuerpo. 
sanando tus riñones, sanando tu corazón, sanando tus órganos. God is healing your organs, your spleen, your liver. When you drink the cup, mientras que tomas vaso, eso significa la arma. El Señor está limpiando tu arma, tus emociones. When you drink the wine, God is cleaning your emotions. God is delivering you from your emotions, your traumas, your hurts. In the name of Jesus, drink the wine.
to the person right now, to the person that gave $10, God is saying, I'm going to, there, there, there's, I'm going to right now release three what's on your life. People are going to say, what just happened? For the person that gave, the person that gave 10, people say, what just happened? For the person that gave 10, until I give 10, this is worth it, What gave you that blessing? What is the name of your God? Look at the three ones. For the person that gave 50, there's five where's that God is placing upon your spirit. Where did you get that anointing? Where did you get blessed? There's going to be a peculiar where in your life. Even clothes you wear, things you wear that receive it in the name of Jesus. God says, for the one that gave 50, there's a grace of God in your life like never before. Probably you have some of the 50. There you go. In the name of Jesus. Stand up, brother, stand up. And the joy of the Lord. Jubilee is not just joy. Jubilee is when you live in peace, when you're debt free. In the name of Jesus. The Sabbath day cycle is, I feel like, the next that released from seven years back. God is breaking that in the name For the person that gave $80, $80, God said the number 80 is new beginnings. There's going to be a new beginning for the one that gave 80. I prophesy there's going to be a new beginning from within a new beginning. That means there's going to be two new beginnings in one time occurring in your emotion and in your body and in your spirit. In the name of Jesus, receive that. God says there's a double new beginning. For the person that gave 30, in the name of Jesus, prophet, prophesy with the 30 to go real quickly. Hallelujah. I hear the, the, the spirit that God is saying he's going to give you 30 folds. Now, 30 folds does not mean 30 times. If you take a paper and you fold it once, it becomes two. When you take a paper and you oh. fold it two times, it becomes four. So 30 is way more than 30 times. I want you to really receive that. 30 times blessing, 30 times healing, 30 times restoration, 30 times new opportunity. That is bringing even favor over your life. Amen? Prophet, there's someone that gave a few dollars because you're the prophet of the house. Prophesy to that person that gave a few dollars. Prophesy with it. Remember, remember, word, money is seed, so you got to speak to the seed. And God is taking away the shame of the person that gave you dollars. taking the shame away, but three means resurrection. God is getting ready to resurrect you out of poverty and into prosperity in the name of Jesus. Prophet, someone gave a hundred. Prophesy out of them real quick. Prophesy over Jesus. that seed. What do you see? I see a hundred thousand dollars coming to you Ooh. in the name of Jesus. A hundred thousand dollars will be used to give a down payment for that new house that you are so longing for, that you are praying for, that you're crying out for because God loves you. And God is going to honor that desire in your heart. There's some passion, but in the name of Jesus, I prophesy everyone that gave today in the name of Jesus that right now anyone that put in this, in this pot. Is it altar? Is it, is it altar? Is it altar? But Jesus said, what? Jesus says, this widow gave her what? Gave her what? Did he say take it back because it's all you have? He didn't say take it back. He said she gave everything. There's someone here today that gave everything they had. If that's you, I want to pray for you. Pray for her. She gave, God showed me she gave everything she had. That was just given to her, she gave to the Lord. Amen? So I prophesy over you the grace of God that what you gave, remember I said, a thousand times folds in the name of Jesus. You will see it. You will reap it. Your harvest is going to start turning around in this year. You give yourself to the Lord and you're going to see what God is going to do. You're a daughter of Abraham. You're not an orphan. You're a daughter of Abraham. You're a seed. And Abraham had prosperity. Abraham had wealth. Abraham had land. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not an orphan. You're a daughter of Abraham, and you come from the lineage of Abraham in the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy to everyone, anyone, if I miss all people that you, there's still people giving your life. Anyone that gave today in the name of Jesus, I pray that there is a, listen, there's someone giving now you haven't gave, but as you're giving, deliverance is happening. As you're giving, there's prophecies being answered now in the name of Jesus. Give according to the measure. According to the measure. 
You want to give your testimony about last week? Look what happened to you. Yeah. You, you, you can hear me quickly? Yeah. She gave an offering. And watch what happened the very next day. Amen. Amen. Sunday I gave an offering of us an amount. And on Monday I had court. But the day court, uh, you know, favor broke through. Because of the timing and offering that I did that Sunday. Monday I go without a lawyer physically. With but this, I, The one that was against you was lawyer love. She came with no lawyer. I have no lawyer physically, but I have a spiritual lawyer named right. Jesus Christ, my advocate, and my defender, who defended me before the judge. And not only that, even the enemy had to testify in favor of me That's before right. the judge. That's what God does when you sow, and you know that you will reap back in a house like this in the name of Jesus. I promise you, Pastor, I'm going with no lawyer. I said, you know what, Apostle Paul had no lawyer. That's an apostolic move. You put him on checkmate. Me and Prophet prayed that even as the lawyer and the and the the one trying to accuse her, they get confused in their words. And they, they stop what happened. They began to start it. He was swallowing like this. He couldn't even swallow. I said, thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. And he couldn't even look at me. I, he spoke good about me, but he couldn't look at me. And he was just speaking to the judge in my behalf, defending, you know. Anybody really, really have a testimony of the CD again that Sunday? I think they don't testimony or according. I know there's people online that they gave and miracle things started happening to them the day after. Any proof you think I got something burning up in you? Are you okay? You want to say something? No? Okay, so I see a fire got burning. I, I see that too. I know your brother has a testimony to according to him. And he'll give that testimony when he comes. In the name of Jesus. Quickly, we only got two minutes to announce it before five. We gotta cut off. We have another ministry coming. One of you want to close up here. Amen. Yes, hallelujah. Let's move quickly. Um, we are having Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Um, the Zion Upper Room Zoom in the name of How Jesus. How many people are to the Upper Room Zoom? This is the first, the, first, uh, the first night. The first night. And the up, we had 70 people confirmed that love. Wow. Moses gave his spirit to 70. That's a confirmation that God is upgrading us. Amen. Yes, yes. So uh, invite someone, love them on so we can see them, so we can pray, so we can pardon to them in Jesus' name. So we always have people coming in and pray. At least a Robert, word, quickly, apostle comes is on. Is there any other prayer line or Zoom that identifies people and pray to them? No, um, usually prayer lines just generally pray for everyone. If you go on any prayer line, you won't really have the person praying, praying directly to you, okay? Listen, this this Zoom, there's times I, I pick people and I start prophesying and pray over them. People from New York, people from Dominican Republic, people from Haiti, people from Pakistan and Africa, and God is moving in their region as we speak. Yes, we have people from Argentina, as a matter of fact, down Texas and California, amen? amen. So please invite someone to the Zoom. Remember, now, no more Wednesdays, Thursdays, at, and not at 8.30, at 8 p.m. No more Wednesdays, right? Just on Thursdays at 8. Amen, amen. Can yes. I get you to commit? Who's going to invite one person to the Zoom? Raise your hand, amen? Log on, log on, log on. Amen, amen. amen. Then we have, um, we have prayer, 5 a.m. prayer um, last Friday. It was beautiful, it was powerful. If you want to come in the morning, if you're a morning person. Oh, we switched it to Tuesday. Okay, so we're going to have Tuesdays at 5 a.m. here at church. Once Amen. Month. Once a month, because if we do for, um, Thursday Zoom, it's hard to do <laughs> um, So anyway, Friday, uh, Tuesdays, I'm sorry, 5 a.m. And there's a stillness in the morning. There's a peace in the morning when you pray. It says, seek my face early in the morning. I promise that if, I, I always tell people, if you feel like it's hard for you to fast and you struggle with fasting, make at least this sacrifice unto the Lord. Come at 5 a.m. and, you know, we'll, we pray over the region. We pray over, um, that's apostolic. We pray over the government. We pray over our children, our students, our region, our mayors, our governors. Amen. Moving on, we have um, Friday night prayer every last Friday of every month. Um, it's going to be always something different. We, we, we start with worship. We start um, getting prayed over or we just start praying and interceding for the people and then we'll have apostle come. Sometimes he'll do a partition. He'll do a teaching. So you don't know what to really expect, which is good. Amen? Because that's how we God keeps us on our toes. Amen? We don't want to be mundane. We don't want to be routine. We don't want to be religious. Yeah. We always want something spontaneity of the Holy Spirit on Friday nights. Amen? Hallelujah. Um, uh, da, da, da. We had Lion of Judas. If you have your, your um, children, please 
bring them to your youth group each time is something powerful. The first time they were slain in the spirit, the second time the heavens opened up. Amen, Maria. We have Minister Maria, Deaconess Maria, that leads the youth group. Amen. So bring the body Yes, yes, Minister Lee said, oh, bring, bring, bring your children, and you're going to experience something different, something powerful. I believe my lady went to another Friday night. My lady went to another, she was invited, you know, by a little friend, and she told her mom, they don't move the same. It's not the same. It's a lot of cookies, a lot of little treats, a lot of little game boards, but they didn't move in the spirit. Amen. So um, uh, uh, thank you, Maria, for allowing me to give that testimony on behalf of uh, my lady. Amen. Also, we have, we have the, the picnic date. So we want to do a, a picnic soon, right? It's going to be on a Saturday, so everybody can bring a dish, everybody can bring something. It's really going to be just to fellowship. We're not going to teach nothing, we ain't going to preach nothing, you know? We just want to fellowship, and we're trying to get a spot um, um, up in... Um, on Palmetto Bay, there's we'll a park, and we'll let you know by next Sunday. But just keep that in mind. Mark your calendars for Sunday, of Saturday. Um, April, I think April 1st. It's in April. Not first because we have night of prayer. Okay. I think it's the third week, of, third Saturday of April. Third Saturday of April. The third Saturday of April. We're going to have a community picnic where you guys can come and fellowship. We're going to be a blessing. Okay? We'll give you the information. Okay? We also have the Israel trip coming up. We have the Israel trip coming up, so uh, we're going to start. The list is in the back. This is in the back, so please list your name, and we'll let you know when we're going to start um, getting the payments to for that trip. Amen? Um, also, we have, if you want to become a member of our church, we have the applications in the back. Please feel free to ask for the application and fill it out and give it to either me, Deaconess Maria, Minister, or said, so we can um, um, see what you're interested, see where you, know, where you feel like you want to serve the Lord. Amen? And we're um, going to also start the spiritual life coaching. We have the meeting with Israel. You'll be assigned a spiritual coach. They're going to go over you, your goals for 2023. That coach will be assigned to you and help you in the deliverance process and the discipleship process, things like that. We'll have, we'll have that by next week. Amen. Amen. So we'll also we're, we'll let you know we're going to have baptism soon. And we're going to let you know when we're going to have that in mind. So if you want to get baptized, please let us know as well. Amen. So we can keep track of that. And it's okay if you've been baptized before. If you feel like you want to reconnect with the Lord and you feel like you need to go into those waters again, amen, it's okay. You can do that. I've done it myself. Amen. So I believe this is it for now. Amen. I know somebody that gave a $22 anointing. I pray a double portion of you spiritually and financially. You see that in this. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Um, Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the deliverance that took place today. We thank you for, I hear that the Lord released honey today. Hey, and honey yes. represents, hallelujah, from the rock, Jesus Christ himself. Uh, hallelujah. Honey represents um, healing in your body. Amen. Represents prosperity. Represents open doors in the name of Jesus. So I just release that over you. May you have a week full of his glory. May you have a week full of his love, full of his mercy, full of his joy, full of his grace, full of his favor at work, favor wherever you go, favor for the open doors. May they call you for job interviews, for new interviews. May you uh, those process, those papers be processed to close that case already in your favor. May you have a uh, process, even those business, um, uh, business loans or business applications or schools, whatever it is that you need. May those doors be open this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless you. I bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Name.